Oh, oh, we did it once on a cruise, actually. There was me, Jackie Jacobs, Mojo and Asha. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we all dressed up as uh, hula hula girls or something like that. No oh. one fancied me, though. <laughs> Some of these people who actually go all the way, change their breasts and all that, they are changing completely from mouth to finger. Yeah. I don't think they're trans. I don't think it's right? possible, is it, to change completely? Yes, well, they say. They they have have I, mean, I mean, none of them could ever have children, or anything like that. No, they can't have children, they can have all the functioning parts. Well, what do they do? Just cut it off and tuck it in the ends? Well, they take it away. They take it away. It's amazing what you can do with a hot soldier iron. They take it, actually take it away. But then there's the others who go the other way, who have breast implants and become Yeah, but they're real ones, right? They're real ones. I took some people to a registry office in Kensington and they were short of a witness. So they asked me to go up and be the witness for the wedding. And when um, the wedding was over, they asked me then to take them to their hotel, which was quite a distance from the registry office. The, the, the distance was so great that they decided they couldn't wait for the hotel and they decided to, to uh, consummate the marriage in the back. I first got into the s &M scene when uh, my wife used to fantasise about being dominated. It made her feel better in relationship. First it starts off being sort of a bit ticklish and then it goes into being just a bit uncomfortable, not really nice. When it gets harder it turns into the real pleasure and that's a sort of you're onto a different level then, onto a sort of emotionally, psychologically, mental high. Other men like to be humiliated verbally. They don't want pain, they don't want bondage, they just like to be they, they would like to uh, worship Madam's feet, for example, uh, kiss Madam's heels, or worship Madam's legs. There's a lot of foot fetishists around in this world. babies behave just like real babies um, apart from sucking their dummies and, and drinking their uh, milk out of their bottles and that sort of thing they will walk around with their thumbs in their mouth carrying their cuddly toys and they'll walk up the stairs two steps like this and they'll keep it up for hours then there's um, one who who wants to be force fed and I have to force feed him with rice pudding or chocolate food or something nasty like that something yucky like treacle pudding and custard and he won't eat it, so I have to smack him and put him in the corner with a dummy in his mouth. Then he's in seventh heaven. The infantilist wants to be the baby. He doesn't want a, a baby as a sex partner. Uh, generally, they like to have a mother figure around who is... Um, tending to the nappies and uh, behaving towards them as though they are a baby. Can you feel nice and dry? There, good baby. I think it would be very presumptuous of any therapist to say that there was something wrong with a person if they felt that uh, everything was all right and they were enjoying their, their preference. Uh, it's only if it's distressing to them or to, to other people that uh, I think uh, 
treatment is called for.